People, Total Sunshine on the scene. They have just wrapped everything up. And I tell you what, fantastic event. I'm all so happy that I came on out here. I tell you, I was tired, y'all. I was so tired. I got off that ambulance and I said, Lord, how am I going to make it? But I said, I know I better get down there. I want to talk to those young people. They said they got some young people together. I said, I better go out there and talk to them. You know, sometimes young people, they might not listen very well to um, messages, I guess, maybe given from um, in certain ways. And I tell you, when I start talking about the things I've seen on the ambulance, sometimes they really listen to that. And I sure hope that they got my messages okay in a way that really resonated with them that just really sank in because i tell you i don't want to see them out there like that i hate to see my young people out there all bloody and messed up and talking about lady don't let me die and i'm like baby boo come on come on um, thank you Ooh, that's loud. Right. thank you very much young man i appreciate that wow what's your name Poo-poo? Poo-poo. Poo-poo. Okay, well, we are filming this for a part of my show called Total Sunshine. I'm sure you all heard Kufu. Thank you very much here. Wow, you know, I tell you, sometimes it seems like um, I wonder where I had the time to find out uh, how to do all that stuff. But I did. I did it all. And I'm a product of D.C. schools. Um, I grew up, uh, just a little bit of background about me. I grew up in the city in Northeast and Southeast. And um, I had a public school education. Now all the real estate investing and all the TV and all the paramedicing, um, that stuff came along after high school. I did the Fire Department's Cadet Program, of course, but uh, I never thought when I was in high school that I would accomplish as much as I did. But it took for me to be determined in my schoolwork. Now when I grew up, we were not rich. I had four siblings and um, it was pretty rough. I wasn't always the most stylish. I didn't always look the best. Sometimes people were drawing on me in school. But now some of those same people that I see that would join on me in school, they would love to ask me for a loan. I'm living a great life now. And I did have a good time in school. I'm not going to get you wrong now. I was a captain of the cheerleader team, you know. If this was a different forum, I'd do some cheers for you. But I got the heels on the day, so I can't do the cheers. in the back of the uh, bus on a trip throwing chicken bones and acting up and uh, at the times you know I'd get up there and give them a great speech because I was a senior class president and I'm here to let you young people today know that I'm really excited always excited to talk to you because it's one of the most important things that anyone can do um, as a native Washingtonian as someone that has grown up in these same neighborhoods dealing with some of the same issues that you all deal with now um, I just want to let you know I know that it's rough I know it is and being a paramedic out there in the ambulance for all these years, and I'm still a paramedic, and I still see too many young people out there in the wrong situations. I'm going to give you all some of the scenarios that I've seen. I'm probably going to talk about a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to try to get it done in a small amount of time. So at the end, I'd love to have you all, if you have any questions for me, feel free. We'll get to that part. So I'm just going to kind of keep one tagged. OK. Um, I usually start off these types of things with telling you all about the first and the second dead bodies that I saw. Uh, I'm glad everyone looks like they're finished eating. I'm not gonna say anything too gross. I know to be a paramedic, you have to have a strong stomach, and that's a whole different um, world. But the first time I saw a dead body, I was 18 years old. I was in the fire department's cadet program, and I was throwing a ride along. And it was an elderly lady who had died in her sleep. And I wasn't even certified yet. I was just riding along getting my training. And so I was like, okay, okay. Ooh, I can deal with this, all right, you know, peace. You know, she looked like she was asleep. It wasn't, wasn't too bad on me. Now, the second dead body I saw really upset me. It was a young man. <sighs> he was in his late teens, young black man. This was when DC General Hospital was back open. I'm sure we all still remember the name of that hospital, okay? But he wasn't even my patient. I had been working on the ambulance, so I was very, very, very new to the profession. That back then they partnered people that were new and people that were very experienced. And so I had a partner that was really good, but we had dropped off a patient at DC General and we were coming back through uh, to go prepare for another call. And uh, there was a lot of commotion going on in the trauma bay. So my partner and I stopped and took a look. And there was this young boy. He was so young and he was not breathing. 
He had been shot up. There was all this bloody stuff around him. They had him butt naked on the table. Um, it was a horrible scene. And his parents were out there in the hallway and they were on their knees. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is what's really going on out here. Every time they squeezed the bag, because of course they had a breathing tube down his throat. Every time they squeezed the bag, you could hear his voice. And that's sort of odd because um, anybody that knows about uh, anatomy, you sort of know that your vocal cords are located inside of your, your neck and that's where your windpipe is. And so air needs to pass over them to make noise. And so it was weird to hear him say, uh, uh, every single time they squeezed the bag to breathe for him. Now that, mm, that boy was fighting, he was fighting. He was really fighting for his life, but he did not make it. And I was just really, you know, I went outside and I cried and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I felt bad for his parents. They were in there cutting up and I was like, oh my goodness. Now this was back when I was like 18, 19. Of course, I'm only a few years older than that now, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> but I tell you, it really did something to me. It did. And from that point on, working on the ambulance in D.C. and seeing young people in different situations that are just, oh my gosh, so unnecessary. I mean, I've worked so many young people that remind me of so many of you in here. It's ridiculous. And when I say I've worked, I mean, I have worked. I mean, I get on the scene. Somebody's in trouble. It's 3 in the morning. Why are you out here on a school night? Oh, man. I can't believe this happened to me. That's what I hear. I can't believe this happened to me. And I'm like, wait a minute. Are you serious? Well, what are you doing out here? Aren't you supposed to be home in this school night? And even during the summertime. So a piece of advice I can tell each and every one of you young people is to go home at night. Now bad things do happen in the daytime. It's not. People, Total Sunshine here at Total Sunshine Headquarters. I'm standing here with Nina Albert, okay? She is the Community Affairs Director from Walmart, or for Walmart from D.C. Is that right? That's right. Okay, how do you feel about knowing that Walmart has supported Total Sunshine School Grade Incentive Program to help the young people to be ready for college? There's nothing that makes us feel better, honestly. Like, this is totally in line with what our foundation gives to, is promoting education, making sure that kids graduate from high school and then be successful once they leave high school and go on to college. So this is right in our bailiwick, and it could not make us happier to celebrate the accomplishments of your... And, um, I think this is going to be a great year for that class, and we hope to continue to support D.C. kids in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. Mm, see you all. Miss Albert has spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. The, the people, people have spoken on Total Sunshine. You know, try to be the light for folks. Now, of course, I'm here to spread the Total Sunshine. That's what I do. However, you know, try to take this advice um, to heart because um, it means a lot. You know, sometimes uh, the way people respond to you will be a reflection of the way that you, you sort of, what you give off. So keep that in mind. And you never know, the person that you were all loud in the grocery store beside, and you in there cursing, and somebody's grandmother standing right there, and you so loud and disrespectful, and then the person in front of them, that might be the person that you have a job interview with the next week. You never know who's watching. I just, um, we just did a uh, seminar over at Johnson Middle School uh, not too long ago, and I asked the assistant principal to identify some students that had great attitudes. Not only good grades, but great attitudes. And we gave them tablets. And we put them on our much respect team for having great attitudes and improved behavior. And they had no idea that this was coming. I mean, no idea. And they were so happy to get that stuff. I mean, we don't want a nice tablet, you all know. Technology nowadays is, is something that we all can appreciate. I mean, how many of you all have a cell phone? Yeah? Okay. So, 
Yeah, y'all download apps and all that. Y'all doing all the stuff on it. Yeah, just shake your head. Yeah. I'm sure y'all are. No? You're not doing anything on your phone? What do you do? You talk? You text? Okay. So he's talking and texting. That's something. That's something. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Now, in all the things I've done, I'll tell you, I have made some mistakes. And everybody's going to make mistakes. I mean, it's, it's just a part of life, you know. But if we were all just born perfect and everything was just, you know, there was this great road that we could follow and we had instructions on everything, then we probably would never even need the police because everyone would just, you know, be on the straight and narrow, everything would be great. People make mistakes. Don't be afraid to admit when you made a mistake. Try not to keep on making the same mistakes. In your relationships, oh my gosh, I can do a whole thing on relationships. about work, your decisions about who you hang around, the things that you do, the things you put in your body. You know, sometimes you're going to be faced with the same decisions over and over again. You know, um, I don't know a whole, whole lot of people that are fortunate enough to say that all of their friends from high school are their friends in their adult life. And so the people that you hang around will more likely change over time. Not saying you're not going to have some good long-term long -term friends, because you probably will as well. But you have to remember that the company that you keep is going to be a reflection on you. You know, you all have heard uh, birds of a feather flock together. How many have heard that? Yeah, that's um, generally, generally true. Now, although you might not do everything that your friends do, if you're going to the same places that your friends go, and generally it's, there are things going on in those places that are not good, then you're probably going to get caught up in something that's not good. And you'll be calling a paramedic. And you'll be talking about, oh, man, I can't believe this happened to me. That's the single thing that I have heard over and over and over. Oh, my God, I can't believe this happened to me. And they just, like, shocked me. No, I mean, that happens to other people. I don't get shot. I don't get stabbed. I don't get hit by the car. I was just walking with that dude. I didn't even, I didn't even know him. I wasn't even supposed to be around here. Young girls and young guys. It's not specific to one gender. It's not. So y'all just keep it in mind. Your company means a lot. Now I want to go through my cards just a little bit here. See, this is I'm so proud of this. These are my DC TV Viewers Choice Awards wins. So proud. We just got some Youth and Community uh, Awards. So. I'm really excited about that. Can I get one of the officers to come please help me a little? Just to hold the sign. Oh, I appreciate it. Okay, so if you can actually just pull this one off, and then we're gonna take a look at this one. If you can sort of hold it high for me. But they have three different things I wanna make sure I get over to you all because it's so, it means a lot. I wanna make sure, I want you to make sure everybody can see it. Yeah, we all see. Okay, reasons to stay in school. Now y'all know DC has a horrible dropout rate. A lot of young people, y'all not finishing school. Oh my gosh, I want you all to get to college. But I mean, really, you have to finish high school first. Okay, now, high school dropouts are four times more likely to be unemployed. I mean, if you don't have a high school education, how are you even expecting to make some money out here? I mean, drugs and prostitution will get you locked up. I mean, there's no illegal way, there's no easy way to make it. It's hard work. You have to work to make it. Unless you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth, and I really don't think a lot of my DC born and raised folks are, you gotta put some work in. And you can put the easy work in in school, and then make it grow for you very, very nice later, or you cannot do what you're supposed to do in school, and then have to work really, really extra hard when you get grown to catch up. There are a lot of grown folks catching up. My 20s were great. See, I'm telling my age a little bit. My 20s were great because I did the right thing in high school. 
This is the easiest work in life you will ever have to do. You do what you have to do in high school. Not saying you can't have a good time. You can have all the fun you want. Just do your schoolwork. Pass. Pass the class. Okay? Graduating high school impacts your lifestyle for the next 50 years. That's just high school, y'all. Okay? High school graduates earn $143 more per week than high school dropouts. So you drop out of school, look forward to being broke. Yep. I mean, that's what it is. Yep. And I mean, you know, being broke is never cool. Deal with all this other mess, okay? And bullying is a no-no. 
So tell the bully you're going to tell, too. A lot of times when people find out they just might get in trouble, they'll stop. So tell them you're going to tell. Now, of course, if they won't stop, you go ahead and tell. And as I said, y'all can call the police. You can call Total Sunshine, too. I know several police officers that will be happy to assist with the situation. Okay, so give me a little clapping for that, y'all, too. Oh, yeah. All right. One more time. This is the last one. Say no to drugs and peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Hey man, come on man. Man, we're just taking a ride right quick, man. I know it's weed smoke coming out of the car, man, but come on. We're at the bus stop. What, you gonna walk? Oh man, I know you cold. You shit around like a mud. Come on, get in. Mm -mm -mm. I know I know how it is, y'all. You standing out there, and it's rough. However, you gotta think about your future. You gotta think about what may happen, what could happen. Don't be that one sitting around talking about I can't believe this happened to me. It's those instances where you have to make those decisions, where those decisions are gonna to count towards your future. Whether you're gonna end up down the street in an ambulance because the person that was driving was a little too high and crashed the car, or if you're gonna be the one standing at the bus stop like, hmm, I wonder what happened down there. Those instances where you stop and you think, Okay, so when you say no, I'll give y'all some ways to say no. You say no, nah, no thanks. That's it. You can say no, nah, no thanks. You can be very polite about it. Okay, but you know, some of us, we have a little sense of humor. Some of us, you know, we have to be a little funny about things. You can do a little less, dance. You say, no, no, I gotta go. <laughs> right on. I mean, why not? If you're a funny person, you're a funny guy, you're a funny girl. Run right off! No, no, I gotta go! Hit the road! Okay, now, you could be even more funny. You can say, nah, that's whack. I ain't got time for that. Y'all say it for me, say, nah, that's whack. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> okay? Say, nah, that's whack. I ain't got time for that. Okay? These are ways you can avoid negative situations, peer pressure. that six month headache, okay? Avoid the situation. That's the best way to do it. Just avoid it altogether. Don't be there where you know they're gonna be smoking weed in that house. Don't be there. Don't go there when you know all they're gonna be doing is drinking liquor. Somebody get in trouble, next thing you know, you're in trouble with them. Okay, so you wanna keep that good company. Company makes a difference. It's not always because it was you, the one who was doing the wrong thing, sometimes, is where you were and who you were with. So keep that in mind, okay? Now I have one other thing I wanted to uh, offer up because I tell you, Total Sunshine, I'm all about supporting students in education. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Okay, well, let's clap it up for the now as well. Okay, let's get your name. Come on, sir. Is that, was that McLaughlin? Officer McLaughlin. Officer McLaughlin. Okay, so we'll give a shout out to him on TV. Yes, a wonderful job, a wonderful job. show you all a little bit the program so cute holiday celebration for the youth advisory committee okay this is the metropolitan police department youth advisory council holiday celebration all righty so i'm just really really happy they had a lot of young people here and when i started talking about that hey guess what we have some prizes for some great grades those young people started breaking out their grades and i had no idea actually i had no idea that they we're going to actually have the grades here. I just brought one little something out just so I could be like, okay, well, we're going to have something for you. We will have something for you. We do have something for you. But they were like, look, no, I have my grades right now. Give me something now. And I think it's just awesome because, you know, when it comes down to it, young people need to be shown that if you do the right thing in school, that there are rewards. And, of course, there are rewards after you get out of school. However, when you're in school, it's good to be able to reap those benefits as well. So. Total sunshine, y'all. I have done it again on the scene. Somebody called me the queen of the community the other day. I was laughing. I was like, okay, I never heard of that. But hey, I told them they can spread that around. It's fine. It's kind of funny, though. Either way, y'all, I love it. I love total sunshine. I love doing this work. I love um, 
So many things. I'm just all full of love, y'all. Can't you tell? I'm almost delirious, too, because getting off of that ambulance and then running up over here kind of, of course, boggles my mind a bit. But either way, just want to let you know, people, I'm happy to be here. 202-575-0462. That's the Sunshine Line. Young people, you can call me if you're being bullied, okay? Call the police. Call your parents. Call your guardians. Call your principal. Call your coach. Call somebody if you have to. Don't let somebody be all banging on your body, beating you up, and you going home feeling all bad like you ain't worth nothing. No, you call somebody. And you can call Total Sunshine if you need to. Okay? Our website is 202. Uh, the website, see? That's the mind-boggling thing. The website is www.totalsunshine.org. And again, the Sunshine Line is 202-575-0462. Now, these yellow pens are our colors and you will be able to see them here and there throughout the city because we have ordered a lot and we want to be able to give them to young people at any given um, situation or any gathering that they may um, be at so that they will know uh, how to contact us immediately if they're being bullied or if they need homework help or if there's anything going on that they may need some help with. I know it's rough out here, young people. I know it is. And I'm looking forward to helping you to a brighter future, supporting you in education. Total sunshine, y'all. I'm delirious. I'm going home. I'm getting into bed. I'm taking off the heels. It's all good. And I love you. All right. <laughs> Us, I'm having fun. But late night capers in the hood go pop, pop. For every shot, fire medics, hot drop, drop. Trust me. I know it's like they just won't stop. A base is called regular, that's when the show drops. Everything and anything and anybody, you can get up on the show, sure, call me. And stop the violence, y'all, I can't take it no more. So please, please, the motivation's every single show. Oh, rest some lotion, that's a tip in general. Your skin will be like vitamin.